I know that this will eventually be something I have to talk about and I don't want to so I'll just talk about it now. Um, if you're new to my channel, most likely you first, you've seen me with my hair either like this or like this or whatever videos or pictures that I end up adding on the screen. But initially when my channel first started, I wore my hair like this or like this because I prefer shorter hair. There are some women whose goal in life is to get long hair and there are some women who want their hair cut as short and low in the back as they could possibly get. I'm talking about shave it. I want it all gone. I want it all off. But when I first started making videos, initially nobody really saw me except for like in the background whenever I was like doing hair or whatever, whatever. And then every blue moon you will see me pop in with my pixie every blue moon. Why? Because it was easiest for me. I've already talked about HS. I don't want to talk about it again. I've been dealing with it my whole life. Video link in the description box below. However, when I stopped doing hair I decided that I wanted to focus on the science of hair and teach the things that I taught my clients behind the chair on a broader scale however women didn't want to listen to me because they're like how am I going to listen to somebody who got a pixie cut and a relaxer how am I going to listen to somebody with blonde hair if you haven't seen the video the course because YouTube officially has courses right so if you haven't seen the course that I did if you haven't seen the course that I've done on relaxers, then make sure you check the link in the, make sure you check the courses tabs because I've listed everything out. But as it pertains to relaxers, when it comes to everybody getting one and all of the things, I've already broken those things down, right? But when it comes to a chest, it's basically my sweat gland makes my body think that it is under attack. So my body attacks itself with legions, Blah, 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 blah. So for me, the easiest way for me to wear my hair with my lifestyle and with what my body deals with is in a pixie cut because I sweat a lot. But with my hair really short like this, I don't sweat as much with a relaxer. I do not sweat as much and it's not a big deal because I'm able to shampoo my hair twice a week and it's super easy for me to do and get back to work, right? But even though that was that's what I prefer, I'm like like okay I'm I'm from a place where it's like you will tell somebody something if they don't believe you you like all right bet I can show you better than I can tell you so that's what I did so that is why I grew my hair out I did not grow my hair out because it's like oh I would have no care I already knew that that could happen but when I was saying oh don't do this do this instead and your hair could grow they were like why are you listening to her instead of her and her hair is short and her so I'm like okay I got long hair too and I'm saying the same thing now. So now that we're here in 2025 and now we have all of these results then hopefully I've had enough energy to put up on the screen as I'm editing. I don't have anything else to prove. And I talked to my kids and my husband. My husband told me, he was like, babe, you've, you've proven your point. When my hair was like right here, when it got to like right here, he was like, babe, you've proven your point because my husband met me with my hair short. I got married with a blonde finger waved pixie cut. That's how I got married, right? So this is how my husband remembers me. So, or, or or met me my children prefer my hair like this my daughter was like oh thank god my son was oh thank god so i was literally growing my hair out and having hair for y'all everybody in my house was like are, are you done you proving your point like because you're miserable you irritated like are you done so now today I'm officially is and it's not because I'm mad I would, I'm making this video because most of the time whenever women cut their hair it's like oh some traumatic happened in life no when, when I had hair that was traumatic that was the traumatic thing that was happening me having hair I was stressed it's a lot and then I would get comments to people like oh she always touching her hair girl because I don't like it I don't want it on me how many times have y'all seen me go like this in this video you ain't synced it you ain't 
You know why? Cause ain't nothing crawling on the back of my neck. That's why. My husband and my kids used to be laughing at me. We would be watching movies and I wore my hair short for so long that like I would feel my hair on my neck. I'd be like, but it was my hair. I'd be like, oh, oh, oh. So like my video production was going down because I sweat in my sleep. So every morning when I wake up, my freaking hair is wet. So it ain't no, ooh, let me real quick while I got this small little 45 minute window in the middle of my day, I could go ahead and record a video. Girl, I can't do that because I woke up with an afro. So no, like it's just not for me. But again, I did it for you to prove that what I was saying was true and you could grow it out because you saw me do it too but girl i'm over with it I, i'm over with it i'm done with it it's over i did not cut my hair because i'm going through a midlife crisis i didn't cut it because i'm sad i cut it because i'm happy god damn me and the and, and, and to be a hundred percent authentic and transparent it's like okay i cut it for y'all y'all grew y'all hair back and the algorithm on that bullshit anyway so what am i about to see here all oh, this goddamn hair making me feel like something crawling on the back of my neck every five minutes when some of y'all ain't even watching girl i don't care so i'm gonna have the amount of hair that i want to have which is none none like sometimes i want a little bit of hair in my on my eyeball every blue moon but Sometimes I be this close to Amber Rose in it. So that's what I mean. Like all black women are not freakishly obsessed with having long hair. And me, she, her, us, we. I am one of those women that is not. But I do understand that a lot of women are. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that there's something wrong with you for wanting long hair. I think long hair is beautiful. I used to love to do long hair. But that's what it was and when I went to go get at first of all I was gonna cut my hair myself and then I'm like why would I do that when the girl who taught me to do hair like that's stupid but tip she's teaching now she's a teacher now an instructor so I was like I babysit her mind you not only have I been knowing her since I was 18 because I met her when I was 18 and I'm 35 um but she was in my wedding. She did my hair for my wedding. And my since I've been in Vegas, there are only two people who touched my hair. Nanika when I did weaves and Tiffany. And that's it. And I girl. And so I cut my ponytail myself. I cut all my hair off in a ponytail. And then it was like in a short bob. It was kind of cute. I looked like Dora for a minute. And then um, I was like, my husband came in there. I was like, babe, don't you, why don't you call Tiffany? I was like, Tiffany don't do hair no more. And then I thought about it. I was like, I'm about to babysit her. And so I sent her this text message. I got, I'm going to put the screenshot right here. I texted her and I was like, hey, Tiff, I know you don't do hair no more, but do you know anybody just as good as you or whatever? And then at the end, I was like, I sure wish that you could do it though. But that's what I really meant. Like, I was trying to make her feel bad. That's why I was just babysitting her. And she was like, oh, boo, you know, I got you. Da -da 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 -da. And then. I don't know we just had such a good day like I didn't really get any footage except for her spaceship hair dryer there's somebody else girl not me today girl. <laughs> I ain't got time girl I'm trying to be a bald head skittle diddle but I, I want to get some juice but I'm scared to get up it's a refrigerator she said it's a bunch of juices in here but <laughs> hi but I'm not, I'm, I feel like if I get it, I'm gonna have to do like some double dutch type of stuff to get back under here without, but and if you don't drive, but just because I do hair, I'm about to act like one of those Kanye's that's always dry and I'm gonna get up. No, I don't determine when my hair is dry. She determines when it's dry. I just don't want to juice.
bald again. I don't know why the fuck I have this. I don't need this shit anymore. Now this is just for my kids. I mean, my daughter and my mom. I don't need this fucking shit. Now, first I was like, oh, I take this shit ain't gonna work. And then it did. And so, I don't know. Y'all should all love Tiffany. First of all, I know I will never share her information with anybody because what y'all will not do is like, I may share her information with a couple of people within the seven day challenge or the girl cycle blueprint that i can that i know and trust but putting her information here on youtube absolutely not like no no but y'all should all love tiffany because tiffany is talking me trying trying she hasn't done it yet but she's trying to talk me into um come up her up there in the studio with her and like us to get a studio together and me to only like work part-time maybe like one day a week or whatever like on the free days when I'm not teaching or making videos on YouTube or doing clients or doing things in the apothecary, stuff like that. So, is this something to think about? I, I don't know. But let me know. What would you, what do you guys think? And I don't know. Like, I haven't really thought about getting back into the industry like that. Leave me a comment below. Like, would you come see me if I start doing hair again? Like, just one day a week. Would y'all come see me? Would you be one of the people that sit in my chair one day a week? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. And because it it really wouldn't be for the money. It would be for the love of it. Because I just love hair. And and I don't know. When I was at the salon with her all day, it was just, I was like, oh. And she'd be talking me into stuff. Mind you, Tiffany, Tiffany has taught me a lot in this industry as it pertains to like hair and stuff and like short hair mainly and tiffany got her license in 2000 i am the class of 2008 i graduated high school well i graduated a year early but i was the class of 2008 and she got her cosmetology license in 2000 so she got some years on me I'm thinking about it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. But this is this. That's all I really have to say about my hair. There's no long, oh no long story. No, I, my intentions was to put my money where my mouth is. I was saying, don't do this, don't do that. All you have to do is this, 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 and this, and then your hair grow. I grew my freaking hair out. I showed it to you. I told y'all all about HS. And people say, oh, what's going on with that side? I told y'all about all about the HS. Showed y'all when it was bald and when I grew it back what I did to grow it back I I showed you everything right and I did it through the herbs and the extracts that are within simple apothecary so I love y'all so much this next phase is gonna be amazing the apothecary has four or five new products coming out I only tell you about a couple we have one mugwort and hibiscus shampoo and deep conditioning treatment for relaxed and virgin hair along with the re-release of silk fusion therapy so i really really hope that you guys are ready for what is coming down this popular i didn't cut my hair because i'm sad i cut my hair because i'm ready to get back to myself i am out of my proven phase it is very exhausting for me because i hate needing to prove things to people but i did that already and if you if you want to see the full course and watch me cut my hair off and then grow it back and now mm, back to my original stance i'm just kidding and back to my original stance then make sure you check the course on my and regrowth journey i love you guys so much and until the next video bye let's talk in the comments and don't forget to hype up this video